Welcome back. So this is a continuation on the poker side. So 52 cards. Um, if you're dealt five cards, you know, what are the number of combinations um, uh, that we would be able to count? So in, in here, I'm going to actually talk about, okay, so how many flushes are there, um, excluding the straight flush and the royal flush. Um, so for the straight flush and the royal flush, I'll put, put up a link up above there if you want to see that because you'll have to know um, how to count those. And then the other one that I'll do in this video is going to be the straight. Okay, and again, I'm going to exclude the straight flush and the royal flush um, from that particular uh, straight and how to count them. Okay, so let's uh, begin. So if you want to be able to, you know, figure out how many flushes there are, um, in the number of combinations from 52 cards. So what you can do is, or at least the way that I approach it, because there's always some kind of a visual that I like. So I'm going to say, all right, so I have five cards. Now, what is uh, a flush? Well, in terms of trying to figure out what a flush actually um, is, it means that you have five cards and they're all of the same uh, suit. Okay, so the cards are different, okay? Um, so all the different, so there are five cards, they're all of a different kind that you have, but they're all of the same uh, suit, okay? So that you can actually carry out. So how many of these uh, flushes do we have? Well, if you take one particular suit, right? So it doesn't matter which one we would take. So let's assume, that you know, we would have hearts or something like that. Then uh, if you have only hearts, which uh, means that there are 13 cards that you're gonna be choosing from, well, if you want a flush, then it would have been from those 13 cards, okay, of the same suit, you would have been choosing five of them, right? To be able to actually get um, how many flushes you have. Now, the unfortunate part is, is that within okay, um, that particular uh, flush that you have, if we want to exclude the straight flush, so the straight flush means that if I only count this, then I'm also counting um, actually the royal flush, which would have been you know 10, a jack, a queen, a king, and an ace, all of the same suit, so I have to exclude that, but I would also be counting all the straight flushes. So that could have been, you know, an ace, uh, a two, a three, a four, and a five. So that's one of the straight flushes. And then it, you would have been counting the two, okay? The three, the four, the five, and the six of the same suit. So I have to remove all of those. So um, from that video that I um, pointed out the link to, so the number of straight flushes that you have, actually including the royal flush, is we have 10 of them in one suit, but you know we're going to um, choose, okay? So all of these, so 10 choose one in terms of a card. So I have to subtract all of those, right? So these, okay, just means that here I am removing all the straight flushes that I would have, okay, in my one suit, and that includes the royal flush, okay, if I wanted to not count the royal flush at all. And now this is only for one suit, right? Now, how many suits do we have? Okay, well, we have four suits. So four choose one, okay? So we would have four choose one multiplied by 13 choose five minus 10 choose one, just to remove all the straight flushes and the royal flush. So that's how we would actually set this up. Now, sometimes this is written as four choose one multiplied by 13 choose five, because that is true, that's how many flushes you have in total, minus four choose one times 10 choose one, which is all the straight flushes that we have, including the royal flush. So either or you can write it like this, or you can write it like that. And now if you wanted to know what the probability is, then of course we would take all of this. So this is just how many flushes, excluding the straight flush and royal flush we have. So we would take all of this and then we would divide it by a total, so 52 choose five. All right, so that's what we would have um, if we wanted to know what the probability is. So now that was just a flush, okay? And then how to count it up. 
Now, what about, okay, if you had a straight? So a straight, again, this is we're gonna run into the problem of counting a straight flush and the royal flush again, so we're gonna have to remove that. But a straight is, you know, you have, so in here, okay, so straight basically means that you have your cards aligned. Um, so this could have been, you know, a two, three, four, five, six, but they're not all of the same um, uh, suit, okay? Because if they were all of the same suit, then that would have been just a straight flush. And that's what we're gonna be removing. So just a straight on its own means that these, or at least, you know, one of these is of a different suit. So how many of these do we have, right? How many of these straights do we have? So in here, you know, so we have to kind of be careful. Um, so to choose this, that means, you know, all the cards are actually different, right? So in terms of uh, a straight that we're gonna be uh, carrying out, okay, that we have in total. So we're going to have, okay, so a straight. So let's say we wanted to choose, okay? So, you know, let's say if it was the two, the three, the four, and the five, and the six. So to choose the twos, we can, we have four, four of the twos, right? So four choose one. Um, that's what would have happened here. Now to choose a three, we also have four choose one because we have four different threes, okay? And then this continues on. So for each one, we have four choose one or just four choose one, okay? Raised to the five because we have five of them, right? So that is trying to see, um, you know, how many, okay, of those that we actually have. But we know from the video of the straight flush, well, how many of these straights do we have? We have, you know, 10 choose one straights in total, right? And now we, of course, want to be uh, removing, okay, all the... Uh, uh, straight flushes, okay, that actually are of the same kind. So this would have been minus four choose one. So we have to remove one of them, okay? Or we can rewrite this as 10 choose one, that's the number of straights that we have, multiplied by four choose one, okay, this is to the five. That's how many straights, okay, we have, minus 10 choose one, times four choose one, and that's how many straight flushes, and we're including the royal flushes that we have. So this is straight flush that we are removing, okay? This is how many straights we have. And this, okay, is, so we have actually four of the same kind, four of the same kind, right? So a two could be a two of hearts, two of clubs, and so on. So that's what these actually mean. Now, this one is actually really hard to come up with if you were gonna be doing the counting on your own. So if you understand this, um, then amazing. And this is a really good challenge for anyone who's studying combinations to be able to see if they truly understand, okay, the actual setup. And now for probabilities, again, you can take that entire thing and divide it by 52, choose five. So that's what we would have right here. So that is a, a straight excluding the straight flush and the royal flush, all right? Okay, um, thanks for watching and we will see you in a future video. Okay, bye everybody.